The trailer for season four of Camp Cretaceous has arrived and we wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about some of the most interesting details packed into the trailer. Let's dive in and take a closer look. Up first is the Mosasaurus attack, something which we love as it contextualises that the animal was still a threat in the waters around Isla Nublar once it escaped the lagoon in Fallen Kingdom. We love the idea that a couple of fishing ships and other vessels in the area may have gone missing, actually attacked by the Mosasaurus. This could make for some cool storytelling as the Mosasaurus migrates away from Nublar's waters, allowing the Arcadia's eventual safe passage to the island. The idea of a new island is exciting, especially given that there is an archipelago not too far from Costa Rica. We'd almost bet the Manticore may have set up a headquarters there, close enough to Isla Nublar and even potentially Isla Sauna to scout out both of the islands and learn more about what is occurring on them. This would explain the continued presence of the drones on Nublar, as it may have been an operation launched from the archipelago. We also love the idea of Manticore using their technology to potentially herd dinosaurs here, as this suggests a potential solution to the breakout from Lockwood Manor. Maybe the corporation will be able to use their knowledge of herding the dinosaurs to convince the public that their intentions are pure, when they are anything but. Things like Robodogs feel very on the nose here, but it's cool to see some depth and some additional science added to another faction within the Jurassic universe. The sequences in the snow are intriguing too, implying that season 4 may be more globetrotting, akin to everything we've heard about Jurassic World Dominion. Could Manticore have swooped in as part of a secret raid on InGen's Martell facility? Only time will tell, but it's no coincidence that snowy environments appear both in Camp Cretaceous and in set photos from Jurassic World Dominion. It's also worth mentioning that the dinosaurs present in the trailer are in-gen designs, implying that while Manticore have made the saber-toothed tiger, or at least we're assuming it's Manticore, they have yet to make their own dinosaurs. We are willing to bet that these are assets which have been stolen from Isla Sauna, explaining the sudden absence of dinosaurs on the second island, and perhaps even feeding into plot points set to be explored in Dominion. We know bioengineering companies can be quite shady, just look at Biosyn and Dodgson, so we wouldn't be surprised if Manticore are up to similar dirty tricks. The end of the trailer shows us a Kentrosaurus squaring up against a Tyrannosaurus Rex, with an interesting building in the backdrop. It certainly looks as though it matches an in-gen aesthetic, so could we be seeing Isla Nublar or Sauna again in this moment? Whilst we're not quite convinced that Sauna will show up in Season 4, there is good evidence that Season 4 may see us revisit Nublar, with the closing moments of the trailer showing a garage building which we first saw on Nublar in Season 2. Darius doesn't appear with the kids in this sequence, so we are willing to bet that Manticore may have forced them to return to the island, possibly to recover evidence from E750's death or something else entirely in order to save their friend, putting to test the themes of not putting your friend's lives in danger that Kenji touched on at the end of season 3. Ultimately, only time will tell for certain, but it's an interesting note in the trailer. Gotta admit, it's great to see the Spino back, with Scott Creamer's implication in the Entertainment Weekly article that accompanied the trailer that this is the same Spino from JP3. This adds evidence to our Sauna Theft theory, which we bet will also factor into Dominion and the presence of the Isla Sauna crate we've seen teased in the past too. It's safe to say that season 4 of the show looks set to reach new horizons and tell an engaging new story, and we cannot wait. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and stay tuned for all of the latest Camp Cretaceous content right here on the Jurassic Park Podcast.